Welcome back to 5 mods in 5 minutes. This time though it's going to be for Bannerlord. Currently I am using version 1.6.2. And quickly before we get started I just want to say if you are new around here and you enjoy this content. Consider subscribing to keep up to date with more videos in the future. Diplomacy adds more variety to kingdoms and it brings many features that just make it a lot more fun to manage. Honestly the most useful part is the ability to send a messenger as for me the most frustrating part of Bannerlord is the never ending cycle of chasing somebody down that you just can't quite find. And this makes it so simple, you just click on the character page and send a messenger for 100 gold. And all you have to do is wait a few days and then you can speak to them directly. Honestly, after using this feature, it's so missed when it's not there. The main part of this mod is amazing though. It brings things like alliances and non-aggression pacts with other kingdoms. A big hurdle to gain in alliances though is expansionism. If you expand too much, other kingdoms won't be interested in forming an alliance and will more than likely want to attack you so it's definitely something to look out for. There's also new features when managing the clans inside your kingdom. You are now able to grant them fiefs making them more powerful and increasing their opinion of you. Or you can just simply donate money to keep them happy. As clans will now form factions with other clans in the kingdom if they have common goals and can start a civil war usually for independence or to force rulers to give up their throne. So keeping them happy is essential. My Little Warband allows you to create your own troop trees, letting you customise absolutely everything you can think of about them. While editing, you can enable or disable restrictions like gear and skill caps. I do suggest keeping the restrictions on to keep them a little more balanced. But my favourite part is being able to adjust all their armour and weapons. There's four different variants for each troop type. This just really allows you to get your whole army to have a similar style and look more organised during battles. And for each troop type you get to have control over every skill. You can make massive troop trees and have elite soldiers of every type. And going to any tavern gives you new options to import or export your custom troop trees. So you can create a tree and take it to any save you have which I think is kind of necessary as you can spend ages creating a perfect tree only to create a new save and lose it all and let's be honest that would be pretty painful to say the least. At number 3 we have freelancer template. This allows you to approach any party and join the army as just another soldier. Rather than instantly recruiting everyone and becoming a powerful warlord you will just be another person on the battlefield. You get paid a wage that directly relates to your tier. There's many different assignments you can take on that will offer you more daily XP per day and you will get most of your XP through fighting in battles. Another bit I really like is that you are able to participate in tournaments if your army visits a town and winning one grants you 200 XP. And if your party gets defeated you will either be taken prisoner or if you manage to escape you will once again be left alone. But the longer you do fight with the kingdom the higher reputation you have with them. Meaning the next army you join you can begin at a higher tier. Which is a great feature to stop you having to start from nothing each time. And if you do manage to reach 20,000 clan reputation you can join as a vassal and you get some rewards for doing so. And once you reach tier 6 you can personally command one of the formations which is a great way to show progression. This mod is perfect for someone who wants to role play more, starting from the bottom, fighting for somebody else and slowly proving yourself and finally reaching 10,000 enlistment XP, getting your retirement, taking all your hard earned money and gear and beginning your own journey to greatness. Raise Your Banner is a fairly simple mod compared to some of the others on this list but it's not worse by any means. Basically troops in an army will hold banners and personally I think it just adds a lot to them. It looks really good and you do have some settings to change if you feel like as they will usually have the banner attached to their back you can change it so they hold it in their hands they will probably lose some gear so i just leave it as it is and you can change the amount of people that will hold banners but like i just said i leave it all on default it looks great and works fine dismemberment plus is perfect for a game set around battles during the times of swords axes and castle sieges like is it really complete without some crazy moments of heads arms and legs flying around the battlefield no, exactly. Well, this mod brings you just that. There's options such as enabling slow motion, which is what I use for some of this video, but I don't use it when I'm actually playing. And it looks great and works perfectly. I've never had any issues with it. It's just another one of those mods that looks really cool. You can tone it down if you think it happens too often, but it depends on your personal preference. There's not a lot to say about this mod, but I am sure you get the idea of it. 
But thank you all so much for watching. And of course, I want to end the video with a massive thank you to all my channel members. We have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermia One, Irrelevant, and Luke Jarrett. All your support is massively, massively appreciated. But once again, thank you all for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.